Hey guys, this will be a bonus reading for Leo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing and having a good week. I am always sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Leo and it will not resonate with every Leo cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This could resonate with you if you have placements in your birth chart in Leo or you have someone that you're dealing with someone that does have Leo placements in their birth chart. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Signs. Take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I now offer a channel membership. Um, with the membership, you get access to all the extended readings I do for the month at a flat rate. Click the join button below if you're interested in that. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but personal readings are open. Email me if you want a personal. There is a wait list. Leo. What's going on with my Leo collective? We have four of pentacles. Three of Swords, Strength, Leo Energy, The World, Libra Energy, The Lovers, Gemini Energy, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. I see some type of communication came through that maybe caused a heartbreak or an ending here a breakup ace of swords somebody is having the strength and the courage to just communicate some type of truth or just to communicate in general what's the world four of cups mm, somebody may feel like they've missed an opportunity since something came to an end We have the King of Swords on the back. I was just thinking in my head that some of you guys are probably dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Swords is that energy. Hmm. Somebody could have been still holding on to a past connection or they still were maybe like, yeah. And maybe that they communicated that to you and it caused an ending or a breakup between the two of you. Or you guys maybe just kind of found out about that they were holding on to somebody else or another situation still. They're trying to maybe work up the courage to reach out to you after you guys had a breakup. Or somebody maybe pulled back from a connection. There was some type of something that caused heartbreak here. So why the four of pentacles? The queen of swords. Yeah, somebody set some type of boundary, pulled back, stepped back. Why? There was maybe some harsh words exchanged. The star. What about the star? About an Aquarius? The Fool, yeah. Or at least... Mm. Definitely could be about an Aquarius. There could be an Aquarius in the mix here. Hmm. Why the star? It's like almost like you guys were realized, like you guys were holding out hope for a certain outcome with a person. And then it became very clear that that was not going to happen. Whatever it was that you were hoping or wishing to happen between you and a person or in a situation, it became very clear that that was not going to be the outcome of the situation. Um, so you guys had, you, you feel like you, you made you, you felt foolish. Whatever came out made you feel foolish for even thinking that you and this person could have that together. And I see that you chose to be like, to, to, to be selfish or to, you chose yourself. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. You guys could have also been confused by someone's change in behavior. Like somebody's energy could have changed on you. All right, the lovers. What's about the lovers? Yeah, somebody decided to move away from a love connection. 
move on from one. What's this mean for my Leos? The Nine of Wands. It's like as it's like one person doesn't want to actually it's like you're you decide to move away from this person now all of a sudden they don't want to give up on this and now they want to come in with some type of stable offer right when you're as you're moving away from them because you felt like you, this person made you feel like a fool you maybe thought you had a lot of hope in this person yeah look at them rushing in with communication i'm telling you it's an air sign gemini libra aquarius for a lot of you this person broke your heart tell me about the page of wands what's this communication coming in they made you, they broke your heart and made you feel foolish. Yeah, it's a, a love offer, a love, expression of emotions, an expression like a love offer, wanting to ask you out, wanting you to be their girlfriend or their boyfriend. All right, tell me about strength. Queen of, somebody's working up the courage and the strength to express to you their true feelings and to act on their intuition. Nine of Pentacles. They, somebody could have also maybe freed themselves from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or they're just like, they're kind of like, what about the Nine of Pentacles? The Hierophant. Somebody's working up the courage. Somebody was like maybe afraid of commitment, but now something is changing here. I feel like you maybe moving away from this person, leaving them behind, made them maybe re realize some things. Now they want commitment. They don't want to be single anymore. I feel like they're also hoping that you are single when they decide to come in with this love offer. Yeah, I feel like after like a period of no contact or not speaking, or they maybe pulled back from you, they ghosted you, whatever happened, you ghosted them. There's, I see communication here. Yeah, and possibly even an argument between you and this person. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Temperance. Yeah, they're going to communicate. They want to tell you that they want to reconcile. Or they're very clear that they want to reconcile. I feel like somebody's maybe also getting clarity that, let's see. Yeah, there's lingering tension between the two of you. They want to reconcile that. What's the Seven of Cups though? They regret or they're sad that maybe they're they're sad. Maybe they know that you're maybe exploring other options now and they're very regretful or they regret keeping their options open. Queen of Pentacles on the back of the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Ooh, they could have been doing something sneakier behind your back with the moon. The the seven of swords and the moon. That if they were not giving you what you deserve, they're maybe doing something behind your back with an earth sign. yeah and you guys could have found out that's why they were breadcrumbing you or they weren't giving you as much as they were before that they weren't as committed to you all right um or they kind of left you behind they were like because they have somebody else the world tell me about the world the three of cups the page of cups I feel like somebody wants to end a third party situation. They want to put it into the other distract the distractions, the third parties, their other options, their non-committal ways. They want to apologize. They want to make amends because they feel you moving away from them. Four of Cups, the magician. Manifesting what eight of pentacles and the ten of yeah, they're trying to release something or like release some burdens and stress off of their back. So because they, they feel like they're about to miss an opportunity or they did, I feel like they're still gonna try to manifest this with you. I told you, ace of cups. Yeah, they're trying to manifest a new beginning in love with you, even though they you guys probably I feel like you guys some of you guys have moved on to like an earth sign or you have a new earth sign coming in. Hmm. Are you guys, they were dabbling with an earth sign. Somebody had an earth sign. That's all I know. All right. So let's get some clarity, more clarity here.
We have, yep. Being offered a second chance, the end of despair, what was lost is being restored. That's what they're trying to gonna come back and do. That's what they're hoping and wishing for, that you guys can like restore your connection. And they're gonna come in and express this to you. Divine timing in divine timing. Why do I feel like you guys are not going to be, I don't know, but you guys are focused on work and career. That's what you guys are focused on. You're not focused on this person. Tell me more about how my boundaries. Yeah, you guys are like, uh-uh, I'm not letting this person back in. They're blocked. They're deleted. They're, yeah, they're not allowed to come near me again. You're, it says not surrendering, standing your ground, staying true to yourself. Yeah, like I was feeling that. Like, you guys don't feel this person no more. You guys are focused on your money and it's going to pay off, Okay. Your stability, dating, and poor health. What does this have to do with my Leos? Burnt out. You, what does this have to do with this person that they've been, this person that's coming towards them asking for another chance? Time off. So, yeah, you guys feel like when you were dating this person or when you were dealing with them, they were just, it, they were exhausting. That's what you guys feel like. This person exhausted you. You weren't taking care of yourself. Uh, this part, like, I, I definitely see that you guys are taking some time away from this person because they were like they were negatively affecting your mental health. You feel like you guys had a toxic relationship as well. You may feel like you've learned some valuable lessons from this person in this situation, or you maybe discovered some truth about the situation that you need to maybe leave this person alone. Yeah, like I feel like you guys maybe realize that they just weren't somebody that you were supposed to be with long term, and that it's time to maybe leave them alone. And I don't think that they see that. Yeah, look at this brick wall. You realize that this isn't something that's supposed to move forward. Insurmountable obstacle, block for your highest good, not able to make progress, time to do things different. But I feel like this person, yes, because round and round, this is a karmic. Not applying lessons learned, unhealthy patterns on repeat, unable to let go of the past, repeating an old story. You know that if you go back to this person, that it's just going to be a repeat of the same cycle, that things are just going to never progress. But there's something, there's a new opportunity that's manifesting for you. You're ready to embark on something new here. Yeah, this was some type of karmic contract between you and this person. Yeah, and you know that you want better for yourself than whatever crap you've been going through with that person. I don't think I'm going to extend this read. I don't know, guys. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that we need to look at in regards to this? I know that they're coming towards you. I mean, I feel like there is probably... How do my... How do my um, Leos feel about this person? Let's see. I, got, I feel like you guys aren't feeling them, but I don't know what the future holds. I know that there's probably a small few of you that do desire to still be with. Oops, I did not mean to do that. That do desire to still be with this person. But that could be changing. You could be having that realization about them. How does my collective feel about this person? Four cards. Yeah, avoidance. Wow, guys, you are avoiding this person. Avoiding being official, said not looking to get serious, no straight answers. We have sacrifices. Yeah, giving up something. Like you're ready to, yeah, I feel like you guys getting rid of distractions. You do think about this person a lot. Yeah, you guys, what you guys are realizing that this is more of like a lust than love. So yeah, definitely. We have more, we have all these lust cards. Yeah, this person would always expect you to cater to them. So you guys are maybe giving them the silent treatment or you're ghosting them. It is like a very strong emotional or like intense connection between you and this person. You and this person maybe had like your connection maybe moved really fast. And then like now you're realizing other things about it. I don't know. You guys with the open minded cards, you guys are still open to maybe the possibility of you and this person working things out. But not in the way that they've been acting. Like this person's always expecting you to cater to them. And you're not doing it anymore. And this person's maybe also controlling or they want to have control over the situation. And you're like, nope. You also feel like this person maybe distracts you from other obligations and from taking care of yourself. And you don't like that as well. All right, guys. So I guess I will take this over to the extended reading. Because I feel like some of you guys are still open to this. Or you guys are just trying to keep an open mind about what the future holds. Um, so let's take a look to see um, what this person is feeling. Their intentions. What the future could hold. Get you guys some advice. The link will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. Email me if you're interested in a personal. Um, and don't forget, I do offer a channel, channel subscription. Click the join button below if you're interested in that. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.